came along, at least I was getting by. What a fool I was to think you could scare anybody out of town. Why, you, you couldn't intimidate a cat. Oh, yeah, I can do a lot better than that. Yeah? Yeah, I can intimidate a rooster crowing up the sun. And a chicken with a lot of feathers. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you trying to do, discourage me? Now, look, Eddie, if we'd have closed the plantation last night, only a handful of people would have known about it. But tonight, it's different. Everybody's gonna be there. Everybody will know about it. What are you gonna do? Benny and me is going to be a fifth column. What? But there's only two of us. Shut up. Sure. We got jobs over there as waiters. You just wait till we get through with that joint tonight. Come on, you. Okay. Are you on a level about this waiter thing? You heard what I said, didn't you? But that guy said we should wear tuxedos and we ain't got any. Yeah. I forgot. What do you want, a single-breasted or a double-breasted? Take your pick. I'll take the one with the ball-headed guy in it. Hey, that's a pretty good piece of cloth. Hey, you. Yes, sir. Tell them two guys there they wanted in the gents' powder room. Pardon me, you gentlemen are wanted in the lounge? Excuse us, please. Of course. Come on, our suits are practically ready. I hope my guy's got a low right shoulder. such a fight, these suits would look better. Hiya, girlie. What are you doing tonight when the joint closes? What's it to you? We're the two waiters you hired last night. Well, where's the other fellow? Well, I live at Lake Winnipesaukee. That's in my house. Cut it out. Cut it out. It's about time you got here. The place is beginning to fill up. Report to the kitchen. They'll tell you what to do. What are you two lugs doing here? Well, why can here? Sure, we was hired as waiters last night. Well, I'm unhiring you right now. You've got a nerve coming here. Do you know what you are? You're low, stupid, vile, and contemptible. Well, none of us is perfect. Now, wait a minute, lady. He and I are part. And you're as bad as he is, and a coward to boot. And I think I'll do it. Now, look, lady, can't you let bygones be bygones? We're trying to go straight now. You need a couple of waiters, and we need a job. How about it? Well, I guess I'm stuck. I do need some help. If you're on the level about this, I can use you. I need a bartender. That's me, ma'am. I spent the best years of my life behind bars. Well, go get yourself an apron. I also need a maitre d'hotel. 
Oh, you got me there, lady. But if you wanted a head waiter, why, maybe I could fill the bill. All right, so you're a head waiter. I'll pay you union scale. I'll give you a check tonight. And if business is good next week, I'll sign it. Come on. Is this the apron department? All right, let's skip it. What's a girl like you doing in a nice place like this? Oh. Hey, what's the idea? Don't look at me like that. I can't help it. I look at everybody that way. It's my face. Well, I don't like it. Say, you're a great kidder. I like you. Listen, honey, I ain't such a bad guy when you get to know me. After all, beauty's only skin deep. That's deep enough for me. She's been around, I think. Mona. Yes? There's something I want to straighten out with you. My music is all straightened out. It's not your music. Did you tell Hope you were engaged to me? Why? Well, no, I've hardly said two words to the girl since I met her. Well, somebody told her. Well, after all, Con, we are practically engaged, aren't we? Well, if we are, it's news to me. Remember, you were the only girl in the troupe, and somebody had to keep an eye on you. I thought you'd understand that. Oh, so you're really falling for that clinging vine. Never mind that. Mona, why don't you be a good guy and go over and tell Hope the truth? Now you want me to play Cupid, eh? Well, listen, if I start shooting any arrows around here, it won't be at your heart. I don't trust that gal. Oh, she's all right. She means well. Well, she has a strange way of showing it. She's two-faced, and I don't like either one of them. Say, isn't it time for some dance music? You're right. One, two. Say, Gabby, have you seen... She went that away. Thank you, Sheriff. Wait a minute. You're going to stay right here and listen until I've finished. Now look, there's nothing between Mona and me, and there never was. Mona thinks differently. All right, then there is something between Mona and me. I'm crazy about her. I can't live without her. That's why I'm standing here telling you I love you. you dope. Don't call me a dope. I'll call you worse than that after we're married. Married? Why, 36 hours ago, you didn't know I was alive. Oh, yes, I did. Only I didn't know where you were or what you looked like. It's funny, isn't it? I felt the same way yesterday when I first saw you at the piano. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my cue. Come on, get up, a new day is born. your yawning and get vertical yes get vertical the boogie bugle boy beats them all he's up and blowing his bugle call blow 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 bugle boogie boy blow go 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 bugle boogie boy go time to get going when bugles are blowing give yourself a treat to the boogie beat cause you'll feel alive when you hear that jive so blow Boogie boy blow. Go, 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 keep the jiving them joe. When the music's bouncing, lead them around, son, give them a show. It's a wonderful thing, everybody will swing when they hear the bugle boogie boy blow. Drinks as bad as you can, ain't you? 
trail of them drinks and make you finish like a chaser. Keep up the bad work. We'll have this joint empty in no time. Wait, better. Looks like everybody in town is here tonight. There's some more customers. I gotta go insult them. I bet the Harmony House must be empty tonight. What do you want? What? I'm Mr. McKellar. I have reservations for four. Okay, okay. Say, are you birds here for a good time, or are those your wives? <laughs> <laughs> Marvel, isn't it? Come on, follow me, Mac. There you are, park the body. Uh, you haven't had much experience as a head waiter, have you? What makes you think I ain't? It's quite obvious you didn't hold a lady's chair. Well, what she wanted help for? We don't hold nothing after 8.30. <laughs> uh, uh, you don't understand. Evidently, you're not familiar with Emily Post. Maybe I am and maybe I ain't. Women is all alike to me. I never remember their names. What do you want to drink? Uh, four sherry cobblers and be sure the sherry's dry. I'll bring you a towel. You can wipe it off yourself. <laughs> A couple of real important little guys just come in. They ordered four sherry cobblers. Yeah? Yeah. One of them looks like a big shot. If we can get him sore, maybe we can get the rest started. You know how to mix a sherry cobbler? Sure, sure. Now leave me alone. I gotta concentrate, will you? Okay. When you get them ready, take them over. They're at that table over there. Okay. I beg your pardon, Worthington is the name. That ain't a name, that's a Pullman car. I telephoned last night for a reservation for two. Okay, okay, come on. Squat there. I'm afraid I don't get it. I'm afraid you're going to. <laughs> Gee, this is wonderful. I never expected a crowd like this. You better get the show started, Colin. So this keeps up for a few days, we'll be in business. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the Plantation Review. Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. What do you hear and what do you think? Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Smile and you'll keep in the pink. Just slap your neighbor's back and then shake his hand. I'm saying hi, neighbor, hi, neighbor. Time to play and say hi. Hi, neighbor, hi, neighbor. What do you know and what do you say? Hi, neighbor, hi, neighbor. Throw all your worries away. Just slap your neighbor's back and then shake his hand. Keep your chin off your chest. Breaking dishes all over the place? No, it was just an accident. Kind of clumsy, if you ask me. Clumsy my eyes. Somebody's got out a foot and tripped me. Well, I don't know what happened, but there's something phony going on around here. It's true. They think it's part of the show. Hey, 
table. You're supposed to be behind the bar. This is a special order. You're a cherry cobbler? Wait a minute. you hear me say rare? That steak's practically cremated. The way this place is run, you're liable to get anything. <laughs> I want it rare. Very rare. Yes, sir. Hey. What's the matter with Jelly Puss? He said the steak isn't rare enough for him. I'll fix that. Oh, stick around and watch the excitement. Which one's the Mickey? That one. Or is it that one? Oh, you don't. Don't you serve those drinks until you find out which one is the phony. Okay. I'll slip to the bald-headed guy. You better wait until after this number. The crowd can't watch Baldy in the show, too. Gotcha. Go ahead. It is not. Can't that cook understand what rare means? Look, the cook only took the chill off of this. If you look close, you'll see the goose pimples on it. It's still not rare enough. If I lost 
of some other time. I know what to do. I'll find someone who'll love me through summer and winter time too. The story I'm about to tell isn't very new. A lot of people know it well. Now I know it too. It's a load off my heart, nothing more. So don't stop me if you've heard this one before. Once upon a summertime, not so long ago, there were two in a love affair. One of them didn't care. What happened, I'll never know. Once upon friend. I don't remember booking your act. That's right. But if you're a good little girl, I might book yours. 
Now, what kind of double talk is that? What's the trouble here, Gabby? No trouble yet. Just paying a little business call. We have an office for business. This room's for pleasure. This business is my pleasure, and when I get through with you... You go nice, and then we carry you out. Carry me out? <laughs> okay, boss, whatever you say. This the way, boy. Who do you guys think you're mauling? Now, anyway? wait a minute. You fuck, put me down. Put me down. Put me down after that. All right, boss. But boss, we thought you asked for it. You double-cross and worm. Never mind that. Say, who do you think you are, anyway? Brother, I am the new owner. I have here a lease on this joint. A little matter you and the guy before you seem to have overlooked. You tell him, Eddie. Eddie. I thought I knew that, Matt. Educated Eddie. Why, I knew this phony when he was running a honky-tonk back in St. Joe before the police turned the heat on him. And I think they're still looking for him. All right, all right. Can't you take a joke? I'd rather take that. Here. And now, if you know what's good for you, you'll get out of here before you're thrown out. Hey, wait a that minute. That also goes for the two of you. Oh, no, I have different plans for the boys. Come on, boys. Remember how you came in this window the first night we met? Yeah. Well, you're going out the same way, fast. Do I really got to do it? You know it's bad luck not to go out the same way you first came in. I guess you're right. Up the baby! Oh. Well, Mona, I owe you an apology. Oh, thank you. I'm on! Have you seen the Mexican jumping beat? It gives you a new sensation. The beat makes you reel a bit like tequila till you've learned the syncopation. When you do the Mexican jumping beat, they won't think that you're a gringo. It's hotter than chili, snappy and silly, and makes you let everything go. Clap your hands, snap your fingers, turn and jump, make your heels clack. Clap your hands, snap your fingers, turn and jump, then shuffle back. Let's all do the Mexican jumping beat. When you hear the bongo stumping, you'll know by the rhythm when you dance with them. The Mexican beat is jumping. Mexican jumping, Mexican jumping, Mexican jumping beat. Mexican jumping, Mexican jumping, Mexican jumping beat. Have you seen the Mexican jumping beat? It gives you a new sensation. The beat makes you reel a bit like tequila. Did you learn the syncopation? Mexican jump beat, they won't think that you're a gringo. It's hotter than chili, snappy and silly, makes you let everything go. Clap your hands, snap your fingers, turn and jump, make your heels clack. Mexican beat is jumping. 